I'm focused on the future of connectivity, autonomy, shared mobility, and electrification, or case, as we call it. In addition, we are pursuing the future of artificial intelligence, human mobility, robotics, material sciences, and sustainable energy. Currently, we research and test this technology in various labs around the world, such as the Toyota Research Institute and Toyota Connected. But it occurred to us, what if we had the opportunity to do it all in one place, in a real-life environment, instead of a simulated one? This was on our mind when we were making plans to close a factory in Japan, and we were wondering what to do with this soon-to-be-available land near Mount Fuji. As a matter of fact, I took these pictures. How about that? Thank you. We considered creating another testing site for autonomy like MCT in Michigan, but when we had one of those aha moments, you know, like opera does, we thought, why not build a real city and have real people live in it and safety test all kinds of technologies? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm here to announce today on this 175 acre site in Higashi Fuji, Japan, we have decided to build a prototype town of the future where people live, work, play, and participate in a living laboratory. Imagine a fully controlled site that would allow researchers, engineers, and scientists the opportunity to freely test technology such as autonomy, mobility as a service, robotics, smart home connected technology, AI, and more in a real world environment. This will be a truly unique opportunity to create an entire community or city from the ground up and allow us to build an infrastructure of the future that is connected digital and sustainable. Powered by Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell technologies, it will be a chance to collaborate with other business partners and to invite all interested scientists and researchers from around the world to come work on their own project for a few months at a time or however long they please. This was the idea when we called upon the legendary Danish architect, Bjarak Ingels, to help bring our vision to life. Bjarak and his team, the Bjarak Ingels Group, also known as BIG, have created some of the most exciting and groundbreaking new architecture currently being built around the world. Graham skyscrafters in Vancouver and in New York, to the number two World Trade Center, to Google's new headquarters, to museums for companies like Lego, to communities of the future on water and even on Mars. A collaboration and friendship was immediate and intense, and we bonded over a mutual inability to speak English without an accent. <laughs> After eight months of research work and collaboration, this is our vision.
Ladies and gentlemen, to tell you a bit more about our Toyota Woven City, please welcome Bialka Ingalls. Thank you, Akio. And, and just for the record, to my ears, you speak the most beautiful English. <laughs> so uh, let me quickly take you through our thinking as we designed the master plan with Akio and his team. So basically today, the typical street is a mess with everything and nothing everywhere. So we started by splitting the typical street into three separate forms of mobility. The first type is for faster transportation and every vehicle is autonomous with zero emissions and street trees create the necessary distinction between people and vehicles. The second type would be an urban promenade shared by pedestrians and slower personal mobility. And the final type of street will be a linear park with paths for pedestrians only. So imagine walking from one part of town to the other, moving only through a park. So these three types of streets will then weave together into a woven grid of three by three city blocks, each framing a local park or courtyard. This not only creates a more serene living environment, but it also provides a wide variety of intersections between various kinds of users, between humans and animals and vehicles and even robots. And this also helps accelerate Toyota's testing of autonomy and smart city infrastructure. So this is one of the city's typical blocks. The roofs are clad in photovoltaic tiles to power the city. All of the buildings are made primarily out of carbon neutral wood and they combine the traditional craft of Japanese wood joinery with new robotic production methods. In a way, we can preserve and evolve the old traditions through new technology. And each block is home to a mix of spaces for living and working and playing. Below ground, we find the entire infrastructure of the city, including its hydrogen power storage and water filtration systems. A network for the autonomous delivery of goods also takes place underground and connects directly to the buildings above. Homes in the Woven City will serve as test sites for new technology, such as in-home robotics to assist with daily life. So these smart homes will take advantage of full connectivity using sensor-based AI to do things automatically, like restocking your fridge, or taking out your trash, or even taking care of how healthy you are. And of course, the best part is that these homes will have spectacular views of Mount Fuji. So if we go back on the ground, a major piece of the puzzle in the, uh, in the whole city is the Toyota e palette an autonomous vehicle that will serve for shared transportation and mobile retail. It is also going to make uh, deliveries to the research and development labs, which rise above the central plaza. And the e-pallets will also help create flexible programming in the central plaza, making the plaza the rebirth of the marketplace, the town square, or even the fairground. So in an age when technology, social media and online retail is replacing and eliminating our natural meeting places, the Woven City will explore ways to stimulate human interaction in, in the urban space. After all, human connectivity is the kind of connectivity that triggers well-being and happiness, productivity and innovation. So here you have it, nested at the base of Mount Fuji, the Toyota Woven City. Thank you. So here is who we envision living in our woven cities. Toyota employees and their families, retired couples, retailers, visiting scientists, industry partners, and of course, all of you. Roughly 2,000 people to start and more as it grows. I suppose you could say, this is my personal field of dreams, you know? If you build it, they will come. But having the opportunity to build an entire city from the ground up, even on a very small scale like this, is in many respects, the opportunity of lifetime. We plan to build our city in the virtual world first, creating a digital twin that will allow us 
to test our theories before we build. This in turn will create a one-of-a-kind digital operating system for our city, one that perhaps others will be able to use. With people, buildings, and vehicles all connected and communicating with each other through data and sensors, we will be able to test AI technology in both the virtual and the physical world, maximizing its potential. We want to turn artificial intelligence into intelligence amplified. In a world where the negative aspects of artificial intelligence seem to be on the rise, this will be an opportunity to apply it with integrity and trust. We also view this as a chance to work with like-minded companies and individuals. In fact, we plan to roll out the welcome mat to anyone interested in participating in this project with us. To anyone inspired to improve the way we live in the future. So by now, you may be thinking, has this guy lost his mind? Is he like a Japanese version of Willy Wonka? <laughs> Perhaps. But I truly believe this is a project that can benefit everyone, not just Toyota. If you didn't know, Toyota actually began as a loom manufacturer. We didn't start by building cars, but began by weaving fabrics. And now we hope to use the technology to weave together a new kind of city and a new way of enjoying life. As a company committed to mobility for all and as global citizens, I believe it's up to all of us, especially corporations like Toyota, to do our part to help make the world a better place. It's a responsibility and a promise we don't take lightly. And this woven city is one small, but hopefully significant step toward fulfilling that promise. Thank you very much.皆様にお伝えしたいと思います。なぜトヨタが今これをやろうと決断したのか。その思いをご説明させていただければと思います。話は30年前に遡ります。1990年、K を含めた市場は780万台。日本の自動車市場のピークでした。この時トヨタの国内販売は250万台。国内生産は420万台です。当時生産を支えていたのは関東自動車やセントラル自動車といったボディメーカーでありました。しかし平成の時代は右肩下がりが続きます。10年経った2000年には関東自動車の 横須賀工場を閉鎖し岩手と東富士に生産を集約する決断をいたしましたオールトヨタでの生産体制見直しを決断し少し軌道に乗り始めたと思った矢先に2008年のリーマンショックが起こりました 必死になって赤字からの立て直し策を決断した途端今度は米国での大規模リコール問題そしてアメリカワシントンでの公聴会リコール問題からの再出発を誓いグローバルビジョンを発表した2日後には東日本大震災日本での生産を諦め 
海外にシフトする会社も出てまいりましたトヨタは石にかじりついてでも日本のものづくりを守りたいそのためには国内生産300万台を維持しなければならないそう決断いたしましたしかし市場の縮小は続きます今度は東富士の工場を閉鎖する決断を下さなければいけなくなりましたその決断の後2018年7月に私はその工場の皆さんの思いを直接聞きたいと思い現場を訪問することにいたしましたコネクティッドシティという言葉を使ったのはその日が初めてですその時の映像をご覧ください東北に行ってまた車を作っていきたいという気持ちがあるんですけれどいろいろ事情があってね本当は行きたいんだろうけどやはり家族のことを考えると一緒には行けないしいや目ざるを得ないという人もやっぱり中にはいると思うんですよそういう人のことを考えるとやっぱり喜んで向こうには行けないという気持ちが正直あるんで今後この会社トヨタとしてどういうふうになっていくのか今考えていることを教えていただければありがたいと思いますこの東富士工場が今後これから50年のこれから50年の未来の自動車作りに貢献できる政治あの自動運転とかそういうものの大実証実験コネクティッドシティに変革させていこうというふうに私は考えていますみんなが作り上げてきた工場を閉鎖するということは悲しくつらいことです思いの詰まった場所を閉じないといけない工場はなくなってしまうけれどもなんとか未来につなげるものにできないかそうすることで今目の前で悲しみに直面しているみんなの気持ちを少しでも前向きなものにしてあげることはできないか国内外の工場閉鎖をいくつか決断してまいりましたがそのために悩みに悩むことです東富士閉鎖もずっと悩み続けましたそして頭に浮かんだのがこのコネクティッドシティだったわけですウーバンシティはもちろん100年に一度の大変革に向けた生きるか死ぬかの挑戦ですしかしこの構想の一番奥底に流れているのは本当に苦しい時代の中何としてでも生き抜くんだ必死でもがいてきたそこには避けては通れない悲しい決断がありそこで悲しむ人に何とか寄り添いたいという気持ちから生まれてきたことをぜひ皆様に知っておいていただきたいと思いますウーバンシティは未来の世代のために決断したのです未来にできる限り多くの選択肢を残したい未来は未来に生きる人たちが作るものだと思っております今の世代の我々はとにかく生き抜く生き延びるそして負の遺産を絶対に残さない変えるべきものは変えておく直すべきものは直すそして残すべきものは残すそれが未来のために選択肢を残してあげるということではないでしょうか今は辛抱の時それが我々の世代の役割ですそれでいいと思います